In this video, I take you to the beautiful island of Kufonisia. It's one of my favorite islands in all of Greece. Some strong winds blow in that last for days, so I take the ferry down to Santorini to meet up with my newest crew member. All right, I'm filming again. I took about six weeks off. Uh, did a lot of solo sailing. Um, I'll do a little graphic for you here. It started in uh, the Ionian Islands, went through those, then through the Gulf of uh, Patras, down through the Corinth Canal, and then uh, into the Saronics, and then down here in the Cyclades. Unfortunately, there's a weather phenomenon known as Meltimi going on right now. Um, so it's blowing 30 knots, 25 to 30 knots. I saw 32 a minute ago. And unfortunately it stays like this for like four or five days. Sometimes it'll, it'll get, it's gonna build. It's gonna be even windier coming, coming forward. It's gonna be, you know, up to 40 knots. So I may just stay here at this little town called Kufanisa. So the town Quay is not much to speak of. It's not particularly pretty, but the town is really pretty and it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take you through a little walking tour of it. Kufanisi is a relatively small island with only one settlement, but that little village is beautiful. It's a picturesque town surrounded by beautiful water and beaches. It's one of the more popular island for Greeks to vacation to avoid the tourists. There's a small public marina, perfect for cruisers. But the nice thing about these little town quays is they're paying 18 euro a night to stay there with power and water. So not bad place to be stuck for a little bit. I like some of the other places where you can just walk off the back of your boat and there's a cafe, but there's some close enough here. So I'm pretty sure it's like, uh, you know, Henry Ford, you say you can get any color you want as long as, it's in as long as it's in black. I think that's what the town is here. It's like a city ordinance. Uh, you know, all the houses have to be painted white with blue trim, but it looks beautiful to clicking out over that. So I love all these old, like just tiny streets and everything. Uh, they do everything very late here. Like it's 12.30, they're not even serving lunch yet. They don't serve lunch till like 1.30 at the earliest. Uh, but you know, and these places aren't even open for lunch. For the cafes, they'll open around six or so. Really nobody eats dinner until like 9 p.m. at the earliest here. So all these chairs will be packed about, you know, in the evening. And there's a pretty cool place right here. This place, they serve kebabs, or not kebabs, they use, Euros, a pita euros and stuff like that. And there's a line, there'll be 30 people deep waiting on it. And it's pretty reasonably priced, four euros for a, or four, four euros for a euro. And then, you know, wine's three euros, not bad. But maybe I'll bring you guys later when it's busy. It's kind of a museum to the tools and stuff they used to use on the island here and then this ancient <laughs> outboard motor uh, but you know now everything's modernized you know the plows and all that stuff they used to grow everything with here so this is the main beach here for the town for i mean it's the biggest one for sure you know, Greece is not particularly known for their really pretty beaches. I mean, it's not like a nice white sandy beach. It's kind of a dirty brown, but it, the water is beautiful. And uh, there's a ferry pulling in right now. There's two ferries a day from Athens to get here. They both leave in the mornings. If you're planning to come here or not on a boat, if you want to come here by the ferry, you're going to have to plan for that. Or you can fly into Santorini and there's a ferry that goes from Santorini. It's a little bit uh, shorter. So there's plenty of like these little hotels and just beautiful little cottages on the beach and they're really not that expensive i mean anywhere from 130 to 250 a night depending on how fancy you want to get but i mean for a seaside like this right here not bad you know you can rent a 
bike here or a motor scooter pretty easy. Uh, I wanted to carry the camera around, so I'm not doing that today. I might do that tomorrow uh, and take my 360 camera to get some good shots. But just kind of walking around right now, it's not too bad. A little warm during the day though. So there's beaches spread out all over. A lot of the shore is kind of rocky. There's not beaches, but uh, where there's, you know, like I said, the, the beaches are kind of a, a dirty brown, you know, it's not like that white, pure sand, you know, but it's still, look at the water though, it's gorgeous. And then of course, there's a ton of cafes right on the water. That's where I'm going for lunch. Hopefully it's open. Man, I'm gonna find a different place. The place is pretty crowded. A lot of people in there kind of wanted more, just a chill place. Saw a couple places up here, I'm gonna give them a try. This is what I had in mind. Nice little seaside lunch. Cheers. Well, the wind's blowing 40. Um, so not going out in that today. Although I did see a couple boats leave earlier today. I mean, it's doable. It just wouldn't be real comfortable. Especially I'd want to be still on downwind. Going upwind would suck. So I have crew member flying in today. Um, she's going to Santorini. I was supposed to sail down there, but the melt to me has messed that up. So I'm going to take the ferry down there and meet her there. We're going to hang out in Santorini a couple days. And then we'll come back here, get on the boat. And hopefully the melt to me will be over by then and we'll get sailing. My ferry is already an hour and a half late, but that's grease for you. So I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be here in, it says, they say I'll be here in about 40 minutes, but we'll see. All right, the ferry is going to be three hours late, but it's finally almost here. So heading to the terminal, which is coincidentally like right there. There are dozens of these super fast jet ferries connecting all the Greek islands. The ferries are about $80 each way. All right, made it on board. There's another ferry waiting for our spot here. So they're trying to get in and out as quick as possible, plus they're late. And then there's another ferry behind it. So, cause they're, uh, you know, their schedule's messed up. Back everybody up. This might be the fastest I've ever gone on a boat. We're doing like 35 knots. Uh, all right, so uh, it's kind of hard to see because there's so much salt and water on the window now, but, oops, got my phone. Uh, there's some big waves out there now. Man, we're in the open ocean and, uh, you know, six, eight footers or more. It's blowing 30 plus out there, so it's a big ones. All right, got my rental car. Of course, it's a convertible Mini Cooper. Why not when you're in Santorini? All right, here we go. All right, so this place is pretty legit. It's the Verano Suites uh, Airbnb. I think you could probably get it on their own website too, but. I'll show you the place, it's pretty rad. So this whole like outdoor balcony and everything with the infinity pool overlooking the water is part of our place. So pretty freaking awesome. Doesn't get much better than this. Uh, the other side, I mean, you know, so the places on the other side would have the sunset view, but this is pretty nice. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And inside, it is a two bedroom place. So she has her own room. I have mine here. Uh, and uh, man, it's pretty nice. So her flight um, gets in at a little after 10 o'clock. So I will introduce you to her. You know, I'll probably put the camera away tonight. We'll just do it in the morning. Uh, so you'll see her in the morning. All right, guys, as promised, time to introduce you to uh, our newest crew member, and that would be Ella. Hello. All right, Ella, so uh, the next three weeks, at least, sailing around together. What, uh, where are you from? What's your backstory? What's going on? 
Uh, so I'm from England. Um, I've spent the last three years um, in Thailand and before that two years in Vietnam. So I've been a bit of all over the world, yeah. And now uh, you haven't spent all the time in Europe though lately, huh? I've not been to Europe in about seven years, so I'm very happy to be here, yeah. For right. sure. Have you ever done any sailing or anything? None. None? <laughs> Do you know if you get seasick? I don't think so. Okay, all right. All right, well, happy to have you here. Thanks for so Thank much for you. coming out, and I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope so. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, real quick announcement. The next Sailing Doodles Flotilla is in October, October 21st through the 28th in the Abacos in the Bahamas. We have eight boats reserved and uh, man, you guys can come sailing with us. There's a link down in the description. It's with Navigar Yachting. We have eight catamarans and we are gonna go sailing in the Bahamas and I want you to come with us. Uh, and actually we're drawing two different patrons to join us this time. So we have a, our, our boat that we're taking is a Bali 48. Uh, so it has five cabins. So we're gonna have two cabins to patrons. So if you wanna become a patron, go to patreon.com slash noodles and maybe you can come sail up with us for free on the boat. Uh, but for the rest of you, go reserve your own boat right now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, half the boats are already booked by repeat customers. Uh, you know, so if they're doing it every time we have one of these, it's a lot of fun. Love to see you out there. So come sailing with us in the Abacos, October 21st to 28th. The link down in the description.